The time is nearly upon us again where the new gear arrives from all the big manufacturers in the new year. But for this manufacturer today, that wait was just too long. One thing I've got to say about this driver from just taking it out of the wrapper, I think the colour palette is just absolutely perfecto. Mm -mm. Black on blue, traditional, yet got a cool edge. Visually, huge Cleveland ticks over here. But there's more to this driver, because what many of you may not realise is this driver will suit a huge percentage of you lot. Fat finger pointing. But the name and even the looks will pull on a lot of people's ego strings out there. And I suppose those two little letters there aren't going to help proceedings. Many people will struggle with the slice, club head speed, spin, and just getting the ball above the shrubbery in general. If I've just described you there, man on. The reason this is going to be so underrated is because like Srixen, it's brand sibling. They tend to get forgotten about. It's called the Launcher XL driver for a reason, mainly because it's really big. Can't be any bigger than 460cc, but you know, minor details. But that's not the only thing that's really big. So is the sweet spot. Intriguing. That doesn't look how I thought it would in a very good way. Something like this, you would probably expect a huge little offset going off. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there. Lovely matte finish at the top. And as much as I was taking the mic earlier with regards and saying it's massive and you can't go any more than 460 cc's, as we know, 460 cc's is the capacity in which you could go deeper or you could go wider. This seems managed to have almost done both, but it's definitely on the wider side, front to back, no doubt. Right, we've never played this hole before, so let's see where the fairway goes. It's really helpful this. Who's, who's flying this? We've seen Brenda's bushes many times. Oh, there's a green. Really helpful shot, that. Thanks. Whoa. Stop the music. By the way, that wasn't a good whoa. That was a really bad whoa. Like, whoa. Whoa. That was a terrible swing. Horrendous. But the reason I've stopped the music is, I don't know. You need to listen to this. Don't know if you can pick up that. That is quite loud and tinny. I mean, I'm not a Loud and Tinny fan. There are Loud and Tinny fans out there. This is going to be a head turner on the range. That is for sure. Um, the positive to that is it's like, wah, wah, you know, it's trying to exaggerate the power with acoustics. So let's quickly hit on tech, because a driver like this, it needs to be extremely lightweight, it needs to be very forgiving and launch the ball in the air. So tech is a priority with a driver like this. As mentioned earlier, it has an XL head design, obviously fitting inside the naughty line. The rebound frame, not only do we have flex in the face, which as we know, gives us ridiculous ball speeds. Cleveland thought they would do a Noah, and now the flex zones come as a pair. They come as two, so expect Pant pulling ball speed. Pant pulling ball speed. It's a new one. So, that's two I've hit. I want to hit this, this thing here. This face looks quite nice. Um, looking forward to hitting that. Doesn't say anything about the adjustable hosel being more forgiving this year. It feels about the same. Are you alright? Like, honestly. Right. Better strike. Probably gonna, depend on how it hits a fairway. It's a lovely club to hit. It's borderline, like I say, effortless. But remember, no matter how much emphasis is on forgiveness in the marketing talk, 
if you strike it like that, it doesn't really matter. Okay? Focus. We, Cleveland, pack the launch with MOI for towering drives that fly straight. Doesn't that just sound like a dream? I look like I'm stirring porridge. Focus, 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 focus. Here we go. This, finally, looks like just a grip, doesn't it? Well, underneath it, there's actually eight grams of weight to counterbalance this whole golf club. Cleveland call this action mass CB. CB for counterbalancing, which is all designed to add a bit of weight here, a lot more control and stability within the golf club. It's a lovely little weight, this thing. Right, the numbers, the all important numbers that we can store in the poker decks and have a look later on as to how this thing's actually performing for us. As we already know, this is not something I'd be going for because this is all to get the ball in the air. If anything, I need the opposite. But it doesn't mean I couldn't get this thing to work. And I'm hoping we do that now. The green is 325 yards away. Usually it's 370 yards, so don't like lose you if it's flying towards it. Um, we're going to be there or thereabouts. Hopefully we hold one. That'd be nice. It's been, it's been at least a day since we did that. Bit of a fade there. Bit of a necky, necky fade. An adjustable hosel, which you could argue isn't really new tech. Um, if anything, it's probably new to not have an adjustable hosel, if that makes any sense. It doesn't, does it? In one head, you can go from nine degrees all the way to 12 degrees. And that changes with half degree increments on up to 12 different positions. So with the launch XL, Cleveland are also offering an inch shorter version called an accuracy build. Not sure really how I feel about that. Obviously it's very important. It's a great option to have for a fitting, but to just assume that you're gonna be more accurate with an inch shorter, that obviously depends on where you're then now striking it on the face. You could end up more often than not in Brenda's bush, more often. What? More often than not in Brenda's bush, more often. Write that one down. Merch, that. We're playing this at the nine degree option. The very lightweight Project X Cypher shaft, 50 grams. We've got this 6.0 stiff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's your pin. 327. Lovely. Lovely shape that as well. I like to work with that. Still can't get over how long it looks from the front to the back. There are many people that will like, that do like that. Again, swings a bit, nah. <laughs> oh. Don't want that one back. Yeah, I've got a lot of time for that. A lot of time indeed. That was a bit higher on the face, hence the dynamic launch. When I'm on with this, I'm on. When I'm off, I'm woo off. Way off. I tried to say that with a face and didn't get away with it. It's like really good, really good, really good, bad, really bad. Really good. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave on the really good because I don't want to see what the bad looks like. Look at that. So it's a good job I've hit all those really well because if we had any bad ones, obviously, I'd have to I would have had to have removed them for the averages, but luckily 
it was uh, pure ball striking. We're not going to dwell on the numbers too much because like I say, it's not built for me. This is a stock stiff. Very nice to see what a 50 gram and how it feels in the swing. It feels very light. Again, I feel like I'm going to float off like Mary Poppins. On average, we had a ball speed of 173, launch 14.2 degrees, total spin 2940, carry average was 295 to a 350 rollout. So with all that spin still, it's still getting out there, which is great. We've got the horsepower, even though I was nowhere near the center on many occasions there. It just goes to show, I'm just talking about this huge sweet spot. These, I think at one, that was hit really well. These were in and around the center, but it's still line ball. The, the ones that I've obviously removed were nowhere near the center and no technology, like I say, is gonna help me there. That's just sort your swing out of this trash. But this club again is gonna be that silent assassin. You've got all these clubs that are gonna be in the forefront of people's minds. They're gonna take the brunt of the marketing. They're gonna be on the television more often than not. And then you've got a club like this that's just sat silently at the back, ready to strike for anyone that wants to give it a good old crack. So if you're sitting there, I see you. All right, if you need a bit more, a bit more horsepower in the swing, like I say, get the ball in the air, that hug of forgiveness just in case, obviously not to the extent of if you're gonna miss the face, there's nothing, like I say, anything can do for you. I'm sorry. This is the club to definitely go and have a few whacks with at the range or whatever options you've got available, get fit, go and try it. Like I say, the, the option is always to try as many as you can you're intrigued with. If you don't like the look of it, there's a good job. You're gonna struggle seeing that on a week weekend basis. So keep that in mind. Guys, thank you as always for watching. If you're not a part of Team Al, please, of course, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you like the content, that would be much appreciated. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. <laughs>